It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Henry Hansen from Adidas. Dr. Henry Hansen is a mechanical engineer in the Adidas Future team using science and engineering to bring new products and experiences to life. Dr. Hansen's work on shoes, apparel, and soccer balls combines engineering fundamentals with insights from academic partners and cross-industry collaborations to improve products for athletes and the planet. Dr. Hansen's recent experiments with Adidas on ISS explored ball dynamics and process optimization with recyclable polymer foam. He has an undergraduate degree. He has undergraduate degrees in mechanical engineering in German from the University of Portland and a PhD in mechanical engineering from Loughborough University in England and co-hosts the Sports Technology Podcast. Dr. Hansen, we're glad to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. All right. Thank you very much for <clears throat> thank you very much for the introduction. I'm honored to be uh, a part of this panel, speaking with such a, a good group of distinguished uh, panelists. Um, so I have just a, a few pictures um, to to kind of follow the uh, the overview here. I think um, I hope I'm able to provide a, a interesting or unique perspective. I think uh, Adidas is probably not the first name that comes to mind when when thinking about space and. Um, I'll, I'll start just kind of with a maybe taking the company from uh, the, the fundamentals and kind of build up uh, how we got to low Earth orbit, I suppose, um, to try and make that make that connection a little bit more clear. Uh, Ten points for anyone who can guess the uh, background image there. Uh, you can go to the next slide, please. Um, so I think uh, I mean, when 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 we say Adidas, the first thing that comes to mind might be. Um, shoes and T-shirts, and um, that's true. <laughs> we we do make those, but um, I I just want to give you a bit of insight into like how how we think of our job and uh, our responsibility and and what kind of motivates us and how that leads to uh, the types of innovation projects that benefit from work in low Earth orbit. So this is a picture of the the front door of the building. Um, you can see some text there. It says, "Through sport, we have the power to change lives." It's um, that's one of the company's sayings, and it's it's written all over the place. Uh, it's written so big right here; it's difficult to get in one shot. But um, that's uh, that's kind of where it all starts, and, and it's from that that we derive our um, eventually the business plans and, and come up with the products. Um, the the sport is, I mean, it's just a game, right? Uh, but the game. It's, it's also so much more than that. You know, sport is, it's about health, uh, physical health, is mental health. Um, it, it deals with confidence. Uh, there's teamwork. There's communities. Um, you can experience success and failure. Uh, when you're off the field, it, it might be part of your identity. It might be part of self-expression. And um, it's, it's such a, a large cultural force, um, sport and, and everything that comes from it. And it's something that we we don't take lightly, and it's a it's a great um, it's responsibility and privilege to be able to work on that type of scope. Uh, and also for Adidas being such a big company, it means we have quite a big reach um, you know, around the world. We can we can influence people around the world and and the planet itself. Um, so that's kind of big big picture Adidas, and um, for what I do and and what my team does. We contribute to that vision with um, innovations uh, in science and engineering and design. Um, we try and bring new things to the consumer, new things, new products, new experiences to athletes and consumers. Um, so I'm a mechanical engineer on the Future Team, and the Future Team is our uh, research organization that um, R&D group that looks uh, has the has the greatest time horizon, uh, and so we get to work with um, with. Uh, academic partners with uh, research institutes with um, experts in other industries and, and then also internally of course we have um, teams of engineers mechanical engineers polymer chemists um, biomechanists we have um, expert designers and uh, just really creative people that that all work together to uh, to kind of find new things um, but we have to look outside of our own offices of course and um, some of that's in these uh, a little bit more research-based um, topics could be academia, like I, like I was saying, or um, or industry, uh, and that's where we we can. I don't know. There's just so much to see in other industries, and I think that's one one cool thing about um, the sports industry is that 
we're able to include technologies that we see quite quickly. So there's a lot of opportunity to work across industry with different with different companies, um, different groups, and that's kind of how we get to space. Actually, can you go to the next slide, please? <clears throat> I have this this picture is one of the shoes um, we've released kind of recently. It's not out yet officially. Um, it's more of an indication of a direction we're going, and it's a good summary of a few different um, aspects of how we work. So the midsole is um, it's 3D printed by a company in uh, Redwood City called Carbon. And um, we worked with them to develop the materials in the process that they had already started to um, to suit our, our needs here, to be able to create a midsole. Um, on top of that, we see the new strung upper. And this is kind of like additive manufacturing for textiles. And this was a process that we invented uh, ourselves. Um, so it's... it's uh, you can imagine just wrapping wrapping string around something and here we're able to put the stiffness exactly where we want it um, gives us new opportunities for product performance um, changing the, the mechanical properties of the upper also gives us new uh, design opportunities and um, I think those things come together and provide a, a really engaging uh, and exciting concept um, not possible without uh, collaborations with uh, external groups of course um, so, uh, you can go to the next slide, please. It's a picture of my shoe. <laughs> so, looking looking to other industries, um, uh, our industry is so has such a high appetite, great appetite for innovation. Um, whether it's technical for performance, um, could be uh, more design based for fashion, and um, any opportunity that we have to look at uh, old problems in a different way or solve new problems, um, it's, it's worthwhile. Uh, and, that's, and that's what we do. And, and um, when we had the opportunity to work with, uh, with the space industry, um, that uh, is, is, is very exciting. I, I can um, talk about a couple of the projects that we did, but um, I think when, when thinking about the reasons for working with the space industry, um, on one hand, you can say, uh, the National Lab is just another lab. Um, it has unique capabilities um, and can be used uh, as as a lab. And we can talk about what what we do there, but um, I think there's also a part that uh, just the excitement of it is is valuable. Um, and it's kind of an intangible benefit. But bringing bringing people, um, my colleagues, into the room, designers and um, and engineers, and and saying. What would we do without gravity? Um, it just that that type of spark uh, and and the I don't know the push to think differently to think with different limits um, can generate all sorts of new ideas and that's kind of an intangible thing but there is value to that and um, it it just takes a, a little switch from something that's a little bit intangible to become a little bit more tangible for. Um, all those intangible benefits to to really uh, pay off. Um, you can go to the next slide, please. Um, one uh, of the experiments, the first one we did was on a football, on multiple footballs. Um, this is a, a topic that's quite important for Adidas. Um, we provided the World Cup balls for quite some time, and they are seen by billions of people. Um, so just as a as a single as a single product that's that's quite important and it has a, a big influence for um, for the company, uh, we have a few PhDs, um, myself included, of of work into this, and so it's a, an example of a topic where we the the research is um, quite mature and we're able to um, work with information we can get in in experiments like this. So these were. Um, related to some of the aerodynamic work that we do on the ball. Um, it, uh, the video's, video's a little bit stuttery, but um, it's, uh, it was an exciting opportunity to explore something that we could not have otherwise and to learn something that we could not have otherwise in other scenarios. And um, it contributes to the, uh, to the ball work that we do, the ball work that we will do in the future, um, and uh, has an opportunity to make an influence on quite a large stage. Um, you can go to the next picture, please. 
Um, the next experiment that we did was on Boost. So Boost is a, a thermoplastic polyurethane particle foam. You can see a few pellets in there. Um, this is a, a picture of one of the devices that we sent up. Um, this foam changed the running shoe market quite a bit when it came out um, nearly 10 years ago. And we are constantly uh, experimenting with it, revising the the chemistry, the foaming processes, the assembly processes. And these experiments were um, designed to give us new capabilities in working with this foam. Um, the volumes on it are massive from, from what's sold, so it has quite a, quite a large impact for the company and for the consumers. Um, the special part about this one is it's, it's also recyclable. And if we're able to uh, create new processing opportunities with this material, it means we're able to increase the amount of shoes that we're, that we're able to recycle. Um, so it's, a, it's an enabler for, for the recycling and some of the loop work that we're doing. Um, can go to the next slide, please. One of the other aspects um, that's maybe a little bit closer to the intangible side um, is the, uh, I guess it gets into the exploration type as well. Um, the, the astronauts are athletes in the, in the sense that they have extreme physical loads to endure and they have to work out a lot. And um, if we consider them as kind of at the level of elite athletes, um, there's a lot that we can learn from that, um, uh, from some of the challenges that they have with simple things like um, sweat and odor management that are applicable um, on Earth as well. And we can kind of look at that in the same model of, of developing products for, for quite extreme environments and using that knowledge to uh, influence products for you and I. Um, these particular shoes were, I uh, also have some ISS uh, designations kind of commemorating some of our first experiments on the, on the space station. Um, the last thing I'll, I'll reference, um, you can go to the next picture please, is uh, the sustainability topic. and. This is one of those things that, that came up, um, one of the intangible benefits about working with the space industry that's becoming more tangible um, is uh, we're in a, so on the space station you have a, a limited resources and you also don't want to generate a lot of waste and you can say the same thing about Earth, slightly different time scales, but the fundamentals of, of the problems and the challenges are, are similar. And so there are some common goals there on, on recycling on making the best use of mass possible um, and being able to reconfigure the mass um, as, as you need. So this one topic where we're looking into where um, might be that we have something that we can contribute to uh, the space industry, to um, exploration perhaps, um, using some of our own recycled work streams and recycled uh, recycling um, capabilities. Uh, and it's also a, a place where we could learn something as well that could uh, improve our ability to recycle and, and offer recyclable products to consumers on, consumers on Earth. So that was a quick quick overview of how, how Adidas has got involved in space. Um, maybe a couple of other examples that may, might come up in the questions, but uh, I'll, I'll leave it there for now. Thank you.